everyone. Thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. I've been with Sensi for almost 14 years, but more so I have been in the industry of computers, social media, internet, internet basically, and when it first started, that's how old I am, for so many years, right? So I come to the table with knowledge that I want to share with you all, okay, about building a YouTube community, building a YouTube channel so that it can benefit your business. Ultimately, YouTube is a community of people, mostly of like-minded people that have created relationships with each other based on commonalities, meaning same types of things that you like or enjoy. Okay. And for knowledge base to gain knowledge, right. About certain things. And so on that note, I'm not here to tell you how, or show you how to create a YouTube channel, how to actually, um, create the account for a YouTube channel. Basically you're just creating a Google account and then you create your YouTube channel. What I do want to do. And the irony is that you can Google how to, you can also search on YouTube on how to create a YouTube channel, um, which is probably how you found me. What I do want to share with you is what do you do once that channel has been ultimately created? Once your account has been created. Okay. So the very first thing that I'm going to instruct you to do is to decorate your channel, decide what your channel is going to be. All right. Let's compare it to building a home or buying a new home. The first things that you do when you walk through the door are choosing a paint, choosing your furniture, choosing your uh, curtains, maybe deciding what you're going to do in each of the rooms that are there, right? And so you're going to kind of do the same thing with your YouTube channel because it's going to be your home. It encapsulates who you are. All right. So you're going to put a banner on it. You're going to put a profile picture. You're going to title your YouTube channel. But most importantly, you need to decide what type of content you want to provide others. What type of knowledge are you going to be sharing? What type of information will you be creating vi videos on? What content are you going to post? Okay. That is probably one of the most vital. Now, can it change throughout your, your channel life, <laughs> your YouTube life? It can, it can, right? Absolutely. So the reason that that is most important is because it's creating an identity for you, maybe for your business. I'm going to use an example of the fact that I'm a Sensi consultant. So when you come to my channel, you're going to get information about Sensi. You're also going to get information like this because internet computers and that sort of thing is a passion of mine. So I share that knowledge. You're also going to find videos about my dogs and you might even find a day in the life of Edie video somewhere snuck in there. Okay. That's my content. That's my identity. That's how people can relate to me. All right. And that's going to be the second part to this understanding of how to use YouTube, but then you also need to add a video. Okay. So you need to put a video in there. So you need to put some furniture in your living room because if somebody shows up at your house and there's no furniture for them to sit down, there's no appliances for them to use. They're probably not going to come back to that house, right? So you need to have a video there at least to welcome them. So it could be just a welcome to my channel video, right? Um, and some of you are going to be like, I don't really want to show my face. I don't, you know, I don't feel comfortable on video. I'm going to, I'm going to be blunt. YouTube's probably not the place for you then because people want to be able to see you. They want to be able to interact with you, Wh whether it seems like it's one way or not, they're going to comment, right? And you're going to have those conversations, hopefully. Um, and so this whole faceless selling thing that I've been hearing about lately, I, I don't, I don't agree with it. Can you have a few in there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. But so at some point they're going to want to see your face. It's kind of like going on a date and you're sitting across from the table from somebody and they're putting their head down the whole time and you can't see their eyes ever, or they're wearing a ski mask the whole time. 
it's difficult to create a relationship like that, right? Okay, off my soapbox, but faceless is probably not the best for YouTube. If you search YouTube, the majority, I would say 99% of the time, you're gonna see somebody's face, okay? There's a reason for that because connection is huge. And that's the second part of what I wanna share with you today, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back to the video. Um, when you are creating videos, keep in mind that people's attention span when it comes to learning is about 15 minutes max. If it's about just you in general or something fun, it's less than two minutes, <laughs> maybe even less than a minute. Okay. So when you're creating videos, you need to make sure that that first burst of information or your energy or whatever it is in those first few seconds is what's going to keep them there. All right. So if you're starting off your video and you're like, um, welcome to my channel, they're already gone. Right. But if you're like, Hey, welcome to my video. I'm so happy that you're here today. Right now that you've got their attention. Um, I've said this in other videos. Enthusiasm is a superpower. Keep that in mind. All right. So content is important. You're going to decide what you want to post and then you're going to post it. Right. And then consistency. How often do you post? How often do you upload a video? Now they could be shorts, which is a big thing right now. Right. Similar to reels on Instagram. Okay. Those are uh, a great way to get people in your channel because they're automatically posted. You don't have to search for shorts or reels, right? You don't have to search anything for that. It just kind of shows up on their feed. And so if they get engaged and like what you're, what you're showing, they might pop over to your channel, right? What a great marketing thing for you, okay? So consistency is key. You need to be posting videos. If you only post a video once or a short once a month, one, it may not ever get seen. And two, nobody has anything to look forward to to come back to. So they're just not going to come back to your channel. Okay. Understand that YouTube will not get followers for you. They're not just going to show up at your door. You need to have a reason for them to be there in the first place, whether they searched for something and it shows up on your channel or you had an engaging um, short that they saw and were like, oh, let's go see who this is. OK, so decorate your channel, decide what you're going to be posting about. What is your content going to be about? Find things that you are interested in. Right. I love I love plants. I love my dogs. I love uh, reality show, TV shows. So sometimes I do the life of. Um, I love fragrance, right? I'm a certified aromatherapist. So you're going to find that kind of information. I love to coach. Coaching for direct sales is my jam. Like I love to do that. So you're going to find stuff like that. That's what this is, right? So find what your content's going to be and then post some videos. Okay. And be consistent. So for me, I post Sundays and Wednesdays. There's always a video on Sunday and Wednesday. And then I spatter some shorts and some other videos in there throughout the week. Okay. So I'm on the weekly, almost on the daily. Um, if you do one a week, that's fine. But one a month is two, it's, that's not enough. Okay. Not enough. All right. Second most important thing is creating relationships on YouTube so that you have people that want to come visit you. All right. How do you do that, Edie? You find other people that are posting videos that you have interest in. If you have an interest in gardening, go search for videos about gardening and then comment on their videos. Interact with them. Ask them a question. Give them a compliment and be back to their channel. Look at other videos, not just one video and run. They might not even see that comment right? If they're not looking all the time, they may not see that comment. But if you're continually going back to that channel and posting comments and asking questions, eventually they're going to be like, who is this person? And they're going to bounce over to your channel. And there's the importance of having a video on your channel, right? Because if there's no videos, they ain't staying and they ain't coming back. Okay. 
So create relationships. Go find people that have something in common with you. And if you are a Sensi consultant or a representative of a company, and that's part of what you're wanting your channel to be about, please do yourself a favor and do not go over to that person's channel and barrage them with information about your business. If it has nothing to do with that channel that you're visiting, okay? Do not talk shop and do not lead with your business. I'm going to see somebody about puppies. I'm going to post a comment. It's going to have nothing to do about Sensi. It's going to be about puppies. It might even be in regards to their video, asking them a question or just complimenting them or saying, oh my God, these puppies are so cute, whatever. Okay. If they ask you about your business, then by all means answer. If they initiate the question, absolutely answer. And a lot of times that will happen when they come back to your channel to check out who you are. And they're like, oh, she's a Sensi consultant. I just lost my Sensi consultant. I could, I should probably reach out. Or if they're coming to your channel and they're making a comment on a Sensi video, <laughs> then by all means, that's the open door for you to have a conversation. Okay. So decorate your channel, choose your content, post your content, and build relationships on YouTube by going to their videos and commenting. That's how the relationship is built. And so what happens is they're gonna start searching for things that they love and have in common with you. Your videos are gonna start showing up and hopefully they're gonna come over and make comments on your videos that you in turn are going to answer. I answer every single comment on every video that I've ever had since the inception of my YouTube channel. I think that's important to me. I, I don't like it when I go to somebody's channel and I make a comment and it's never even hearted or liked or whatever, right? Because I, see, I feel unseen and I don't like to be unseen. <laughs> I don't know that anybody likes to be unseen when they're trying to reach out to somebody right? That's kind of like rejection. We don't like that. So don't do that. All right. Super simple. We did this under 13 minutes. So my 15 minute mark is, is great, right? Um, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below because I will answer them, right? Um, I'm here to help. I've been doing this for a long time. So I have potential information that I can share with you if I haven't already done so on this video. So I hope you have an amazing day. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. Bye.